lesson we will be able to construct a bisector of a given angle a perpendicular bisector of a given line segment an angle of 60 degree at the initial point of a given ray a triangle given its base a base angle and sum of other two sides a triangle given its base a base angle and differences of other two sides and a triangle given its perimeter and its two base angles an angle abc and we need to construct its bisector taking b as center and any radius we will draw an arc to intersect rays ba and bc at e and d next taking d and e as centers with radius more than half de we will draw arcs to intersect each other at f now we draw the ray bf this ray bf is the required bisector of angle abc let us prove this construction of a ray that bisects angle abc an angle bisector is a line that cuts an angle into two equal halves here in triangle bef and triangle bdf we have be is equal to bd because they are equal radii of the same arc ef is equal to df because they are arcs of equal radii bf is equal to bf as it is common to both triangles thus triangle bf is congruent to triangle bdf by sss congruence rule so angle ebf is equal to angle dbf line pq and we need to construct its perpendicular bisector taking a and b as centers and radius more than half ab we will draw arcs on both sides of the line segment ab let these arcs intersect each other at p and q join pq let pq intersect ab at point m then line pmq is the required perpendicular bisector of ab a perpendicular bisector is a line that is perpendicular to the line segment and cuts the line segment into two equal halves in triangle paq and triangle pbq we have ap is equal to bp because they are arcs of equal radii aq is equal to bq because they are arcs of equal radii pq equals to pq as it is a common side so by sss congruence rule triangle paq is congruent to triangle pbq thus angle apm is equal to angle bpm now in triangle pma and triangle pmb we have ap is equal to bp because again they are arcs of equal radii angle apm is equal to angle bpm as we have already proved pm equals to pm as it is a common side so triangle pma is congruent to triangle pmp by sas congruence rule thus am is equal to bm and angle pma is equal to angle pmb since ab is a line segment thus 
angle AMB is equal to 180 degree. Hence, sum of angle PMA and angle PMB is equal to 180 degree. Hence, both angle PMSA and angle PMB is equal to 90 degree. So, PM or PMQ is the perpendicular bisector of AB. AAB with A as center. Here, we need to construct a ray AC such that angle CAB is equal to 60 degree. Taking A as center and some radius, we will draw an arc of a circle which intersects AB at D. Taking D as center with same radius, we will draw an arc intersecting previous arc at E. Draw a ray AC passing through E. Thus, angle CAB is equal to 60 degree. Now, we will prove this. Construct an angle of 60 degree at the initial point of a given ray. Let us join DE. Then, AE is equal to DE is equal to AD because of the virtue of construction. Thus, triangle EAD becomes an equilateral triangle and an equilateral triangle has all its angles equal to 60 degree. Thus, triangle EAD becomes an equilateral triangle and an equilateral triangle has all its angles equal to 60 degree. Thus, angle CAB is equal to 60 degree. Construct a triangle PQR such that QR is equal to 5 cm, angle PQR is equal to 60 degree and PQ plus PR equals 8 cm. Step 1 is to draw the base QR equal to 5 cm. Step 2 is to draw angle XQR equal to 60 degree. Step 3 is to mark an arc 8 cm on QX such that QS is equal to 8 cm. Next step is to join RS. Next, draw perpendicular bisector of RS such that it intersects QS at P. At last, join PR. Thus, triangle PQR is the required triangle. Let us verify the result. Since P lies on the perpendicular bisector of RS, PR equals to PS. PQ equals to QS minus PS.